The sponsors of the protest do not love our country. They have no love for the nation. They do not understand citizenship. They have alternative passports. They are in different parts of the world, holding meetings virtually. We do not want to turn Nigeria into Sudan. Ahead of the national protest, they are going to start on the 1st of August 2024 to end bad governance. Yeah, Nigerians have been asking, where is Tinibu? Where is Tinibu? He should come and address the nation. Finally, Tinibu has surfaced to address the nation, my people. But what he has said in his message to Nigerians is going to shock you. Hey, 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 my people, please keep on watching to the very end of this video. And remember, for more updates coming from my channel, please do well to subscribe and turn on your bell notification so you don't miss out any amazing and interesting updates at this moment my people nigerians home and abroad and people of the world watching what is going on please listen to what president tinibu has said ahead of the 2024 national protest that is going to start on the 1st of august 2024 at this moment enjoy the rest of the video don't forget to share your thoughts at the comment section he said we are reworking the social welfare scheme to reach the world level, which is the closest to our people. We will ensure that we re-establish connection with the world again so that we can give allowances to the poor and the vulnerable. The student loans will pay for school fees. There will be monetary support for the education of our children. Consumer credit will support citizens in buying cars and houses, and they can repay them Gradually, we have increased the minimum wage by more than 100%. The sponsors of the protest do not love our country. They have no love for the nation. They do not understand citizenship. They have alternative passports. They are in different parts of the world, holding meetings virtually. We do not want to turn Nigeria into Sudan. We are talking about hunger, not burials. We have to be careful. We should be careful with premature politics. Politics of and anger the internet has made it possible to hold meetings in artificial settings they hold meetings and sponsor anger nigerians 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 both home and abroad how many times did i call you guys are you sure your president is okay are you sure the person representing you guys your president is okay hey hey, hey. student loan how are you going to pay after your education in a country that cannot provide a job to graduates. How are you going to pay if you borrow money to buy a car and to buy a house? How are you going to pay? Are you sure these people even have a plan at all for Nigerians? I see your president do not have any single plan for Nigerians. Hey, 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 hey. this one is the worst I've ever heard. And again, people are asking, why is it that Tinibu can never come out to address the nation? Why is it that it is always a written note? Why is it that your president cannot come out to address the nation? Even as all this buzz buzz is going on at the internet, as Nigerians, no one give up, as they are really preparing so hard for this protest that is going to start on the 1st of August 2024, and they are asking, where is our president? You should come and address the nation. And, hey, 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 Tinibu shocked Nigerians by sending a message, a message, oh, that is why Nigerians are asking, what is wrong with this man? This man, this say we don't get sense again. This man think by writing this rubbish when I say we go stop this protest. We must protest. He should come out and address the nation and not sending us message. My people, let's go more in detail. Listen to what Rufai has said. Yeah, pertaining what Tinibu has said to Nigerians ahead of this protest. Say something. Yeah, I want to say a lot. Number one, please. Nobody supports violent protest. Yeah. I condemn totally any attempt of violent protest but also i also condemn any attempt to stop people from hearing their voice to speak their mind i think it was voltaire that said very prominently i might disagree with you totally but i will never stop you the chance for speaking your mind mm. the truth is let's not deceive ourselves if they say protests have political slant mm -hmm. One of their APC governors come to fire me recently came out to say that in 2012, the reason why the protest was because of politics. 
There's always been political connotation to protests in this country, mm -hmm. except we want to deceive us. Dr. Abad is seated here. The economic indicators were very good under Jonathan, better than this. The protest was because of politics. I am not for politics. Mm -hmm. But the greater problem is the hunger. Right. Which he has not addressed. Which we are saying he should address. He said he's giving student loan. In a country where people can hardly get jobs, you are giving student loan. Do you know the debts that will come out of the student loan? I've always been for Even student in America, loan. that you have a better economy. Mm -hmm. Do you know how many times Joe Biden has said he should clear student loan debts? He said they are going to give people money to buy cars and homes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yellow come. You will cure more debts. Do you know how much debts, cash apps, have destroyed Nigerian people? All right. Microfinance banks. What do you propose? What I propose mm -hmm. is make the economy better. How do you make the economy better? Invest in small businesses. Okay. Then you must do something about petrol prices and the rising inflation. The rising inflation is also caused by over 100 trillion in money in circulation. When they briefly wanted to solve that problem, didn't press some governors supporting President Tinubu there went to the Supreme Court and said no. We did not resign policy till today. And you should tell us is it paying subsidy or not? Mr. Wale, you say it's technically what is technically paying subsidy? Mm. Tell us if you are be honest with respect with the people. So these are the things I totally condemn violence. Absolutely. But President Tinubu. Mm. Has not done a lot to make Nigerians happy. The empirical facts are there. Right. Let's stop deceiving ourselves. All right. I have read some. If he doesn't, we'll praise him. Yes. Guys, let's see how Nigerians are reacting to this message from Tinibu ahead of the protest. And the first comment said, Massive protest button. Okay, Omo, make we all fall out of bag. These people, they are panicking already. Make we forget about tribalism. I beg. You they choke everybody. Okay, another said, 90% of the protestants cannot afford internet to see your statement, sir. Hmm. The protest is holding. Button. Okay. We more protest to button. Okay. Baba forge student loan. Baba forget student loan. Now person will chop, they go school. I say are they hungry? I never chop since morning. Child, this is really the cry of all Nigerians. Imagine, imagine, imagine. Che, it choke, it choke. Increase the minimum wage by 100%. And devalue the naira by more than four hundred percent. Increase fuel price by more than five hundred. Oh, she exactly what he has done. Robin Peter to pay Paul. Imagine increasing minimum wage just seventy thousand naira, and even that seventy thousand naira cannot feed you for one week. Is there any need of the increment, Mister President? We are asking you. We are not happy. This is not an increment. You are just robbing Peter to pay to pay Paul. We will give them 70k, but in less than five days, that 70k is gone. The remaining days of the month, that one now on your Kai, could you imagine, on your own. Another wrote, don't vote Tinibu again. Don't, don't, please don't. People are suffering a lot. 2027, Peter will be okay. Another wrote, just, re just reduce. Just reduce price of fuel to 65 naira per liter and food prices will be regulated. Yes, to the best. Give us light to two at low cost and provide us job. I beg, do our road too for us and we are good. All this we ask. Thank you, Mr. President. And you think you will do this thing? You are just dreaming. Okay, other country president. Come on, life to address its, its citizens. Nigeria president addressed us through a statement written on his behalf by a newscaster. Kai, what a country. Okay, now, return the fuel to 180 and the protest will stop. Okay, this one said, names of sponsors of the protest have been released as follows. Hunger, inflation, fuel pump price, minimum wage, power, Power or no light, bad road, Bini Awuchi Road, budget pardon, highest cost of governance, narrow devaluation, chai, corruption, poor road network, fail civil service system. These are 
the one sponsoring this protest, Chai, Chai, Chai. My people as you can see, Nigerians are not happy. You can see, how can you have a president that cannot come and address the nation, even when Basbos is going on, even when Basbos are taking over the nation, your president cannot come out to come and calm the citizen down to tell them exactly what he has for them, only for him to surface, to drop a written note, written by someone. Could you imagine? This one I really see finish. That is why Nigerians are really crying out loud. Okay, can you see why protest is important in any democracy? This is because the people will never want to do the right thing until they are forced to do it. The beefy thing for me is how senators who are supposed to be representing the people are supporting him. I hope it's not that we are stylishly have an autocratic leader, Sha. Now, wait till we get autocratic leaders, so this will not be democracy again, my people. Please, for more updates, kindly subscribe and turn on your bell notification. As you can see, Nigerians are dropping comments here and there. Please share with us your opinion at the comment section. And as you do that, may God bless you. Thank you so much for watching.